There are plenty of things to do in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, but given its war history, it seemed kind of fitting to visit the War Remnants Museum. Our admission tickets to get in. It was uh, 40,000 dong. The museum is operated since 1975 and ironically is located in the former United States Information Agency building. Hmm. In the entry yard are many types of military equipment from the Vietnam War itself. This Cessna U-17 was used for military assistance in the Air America program. This F-5A Freedom Fighter was supersonic and able to compete with the MiG fighters of its day. The Douglas A-1 Sky Raider is a single-seat attack aircraft that saw service for over 40 years. The Bell UH-1 Hueys were the most widely used choppers throughout the war. Over 5,000 of them were deployed. This guillotine was last used in the 60s by the French and South Vietnamese to execute prisoners. It absolutely churned my stomach seeing this rusty blade standing at the ready and the obviously blood-stained headrest. Tiger cages were used by the South Vietnam government to keep their political prisoners captive. Graphic pictorial exhibits covered the effects of Agent Orange and other foliants in the use of napalm and phosphorus bombs and what it did in the war. This 15,000 pound daisy cutter bomb was used to flatten entire sections of the forest instantly. The Boeing CH-47 Chinook delivered thousands of troops and hardware into the combat zones. The M41 Walker Bulldog tank was developed for armed reconnaissance missions. The M132 armored flamethrower, nicknamed Zippo, shot flames in the distance and sent enemies running. The M2 howitzer could shoot short-range barrages of armaments. The M107 self-propelled gun provided long-range fire support. As we covered each of the three floors looking through photographs, weapons, guns of all make, and the effects of all the chemical agents that the people and the land had felt, I was really saddened. I know it was the intent to show the horror war, but the sadness was not so much for the war, but those sent to fight on both sides. It was a stifling hot day. We were dripping with sweat, swarmed with flies and mosquitoes everywhere, and this is walking around in 2019, in and out of climate-controlled spaces. These poor Joes were sent out in a mess far worse in conditions than we were seeing, and then asked to fight for something that well, it was a political disaster on all sides of the fence. Yet we watched as people of all nationalities pose for selfies with jars of preserved human fetuses. Those exposed to Agent Orange and well, they were just sitting there smiling as they took their picture. The War Remnants Museum is one of the most popular museums in Vietnam and attracts almost a half a million visitors every year with about two-thirds of those being foreigners. Yet I'm not really clear if I don't know if the intent was lost on the mass of visitors. It left us horrified and again stunned at the depravity of the human nature, you know, that, that we would torture people to death for reasons that were best vague at the day and now. We left quiet, hoping that somehow we would all devolve to a better level of compassion one day. 
Glad that this reminder sits in place as a realistic picture of forgotten time swept under the rug many years ago for most. Well, that's all for this video. Remember, find your dream and own it. And safe travels, everyone. If you like the video, don't forget to click like and subscribe so you know when we're doing other videos.